Within two minutes, we'd had two firearms discharged on the streets of Birmingham with 150 people at least in the area. That shows two things. The first is an absolute flagrant disregard for the safety of people. And secondly, the uh, sort of feeling that they were untouchable and that they could do that and not have to worry about the consequences. We had very few people uh, able to come forward and give us statements, so we used CCTV from static cameras and luckily from a bus that was driving past the scene as the incident happened and we were able to convince a jury by piecing together that footage that Beckford was the person who shot and killed Myers on the night in question. We've investigated or been involved in the investigation of over 100 murders uh, and this is certainly at the very top end in terms of complexity and the degree of challenge that was involved to bring the offenders to justice. Yeah, he has, uh, to Tafari Beckford, a very long history of uh, violent behaviour and association with gangs and gang members. Uh, he has been on uh, the uh, radar for other murders that have happened in the past uh, and he's somebody who had a really significant reputation and was towards the very top end of the gang activity in Birmingham. So a really dangerous individual. We're really pleased that he's off the streets of Birmingham. There's a very clear message. As a result of this incident, one young man is dead, a second has permanent brain damage, and a third is starting a lengthy prison sentence. It's actually very difficult to get hold of a firearm in the streets of West Midlands, but if you're tempted to do so, be reassured, we will find you, we will catch you, we will convict you, and you'll be spending very many years behind bars.